Governor Dave Heineman has officially filed his application to become the next president at the University of Nebraska. He held a press conference at the Capitol this morning to make it official. On Tuesday, Heineman sent a letter to the NU Board of Regents expressing his interest. He would be replacing former NU President J.B. Milliken. Heineman says affordable tuition rates will be his top priority. That's been a commitment I've had as governor. Uh, we've already done a two-year uh, tuition freeze. I also uh, think, uh, as governor, I know the budget of Nebraska very well. And if you think about the University of Nebraska, it's state funding, tuition support, and the University of Nebraska Foundation. So I think I can have an impact in a positive way. Governor Heineman is in the record books as Nebraska's longest serving governor. His term will come to an end this fall. The position became open when Milliken left to become the next chancellor of City University in New York. It may be summer session on the campus of UNL, but the campus was buzzing today. And students reacting to the news of Heineman's announcement. News 5's Kelly Baumgarten was in Lincoln today and has the story. On Tuesday, Governor Heineman submitted this letter to the Board of Regents. He says the reason he decided to apply for the position of president at the University of Nebraska is because he believes that education is the key to the success of our youth. It is the key for every young person in this state and in, the, in this country if we can give them a great education, K-12, through the uh, higher education, then the sky's the limit. Back in January, J.B. Milliken stepped down as Nebraska University president after 10 years. After Milliken's departure, the search for his replacement was underway. But Governor Heineman initially wasn't interested in the position. Over the last few weeks, his tone has changed. The next president of the University of Nebraska will have an outstanding opportunity to build upon President Milliken's successes and to lead the University of Nebraska to an even more successful future. Governor Heineman says his work in the legislature on education is one of the reasons he is ready for the next challenge in his career. My wife's been a former elementary school principal and teacher all her life. And almost every single day we talk about the value and the importance of education. Walk around the University of Nebraska campus and you'll get mixed reactions on the governor's announcement. Some say he's the right man for the job. I think that's exciting and I think that he'd make a good president of the university. It's a really good idea because he shows that he's more focused, besides being on the whole state, but just he's more focused on our cities and what are... Um, what the future is of students going to this university. While others fear his political background could give him an unfair advantage and scare qualified candidates away. But also I feel like if they only settle with him, like they're, they might be lim limiting their uh, potential applicants, and if they do that, then that's selling the university short. But Governor Heineman doesn't think his political history will have any impact on the board's decision. Because I'm the governor of the state of Nebraska, I believe I will be held to a higher level of scrutiny and higher expectations. Governor Heineman says right now he's just focused on becoming one of the four finalists. In Lincoln, Kelly Baumgarten, News 5. The board has not yet set a deadline for when they will select the final four candidates. And chairman of the Board of Regents, Howard Hawks, releasing a statement saying now that the governor has publicly announced his candidacy, his current request for one-on-one -on -one meetings with members of the Board of Regents, chancellors, and other administration, administrators are inappropriate and will not be honored.